So in this video, we're gonna show you how to flush the engine on your boat. We're gonna wash the boat and put it away. For us today, we're gonna to get the best possible flushing result by going old school and using a pair of engine flushing muffs. The hose goes to both sides, so we're gonna have water going to both sides of the engine. Some engines have a direct connection for the hose. That's great in some circumstances, like if you're in a marina or the boat lives in the water all the time, or you don't wanna make a lot of noise. Smaller boats and smaller engines, that's probably okay. But for our big Yamaha 175 horsepower motor, we wanna get water to both sides to make sure it gets into the cooling system properly. We're gonna connect these around the outside of the engine. We're gonna use fresh water from the tap at home. We'll run the engine to get it warm enough to get it up to operating temperature, open up the thermostats, flush all of the salt water out of the engine, and we'll pack everything away. I'm gonna slide the muffs over from the front of the engine to the back where the engine picks up the water that it normally uses for cooling. Slide him on, wiggle, 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 get him over the top there. We'll turn the tap on now and we'll see how the water goes. We should have some water coming out of a couple little telltale holes there. And then once the water's coming through and it's ready to go, then we'll start the engine. So we can see there's water coming out of the telltale holes here and here. Should be pretty good. I'm gonna climb up on the boat, start the engine, get it running. So it might be hard to hear me, but I can see the water coming out of the cooling telltale. So I know the water's running through the cooling system. You might need to adjust the position of the muffs to make sure water's coming up and being pumped through the engine. Most newer engines, they'll generally shut down if the engine temperature gets too high. We know the water's coming out. So now we just leave it to run until it gets warm. So we'll let it run, we'll come back when it's done. So you can feel the engine cooling water is nice and warm. We've flushed the whole engine out properly. So now we can turn the engine off, turn the hose off, pack it away, move on to washing the boat. So we've turned the engine off, we've turned the hose off, we'll pull the muffs off, we'll let the rest of the cool water run down out of the engine. So the last job of the day before you put the boat away is to wash it down. I'm gonna get my son Connor to give me a hand with this and we're gonna split the job up. We'll work from front to back, top and down. Let's get to work. So you're gonna wash the sides, I'm gonna wash the top. Can you pass that bucket up to me when I get up there? Thank you. Now there's different types of products you can use to wash your boat. You can get specific boat washing detergents from your boating supply store for fiberglass boats, aluminium boats, timber boats are another thing altogether, I think essentially. We're using a general wash and wax, which is really no different than what you might wash your car with. And we're using normal sponges for the sides of the boat. We're gonna use a specific boat washing brush, which looks a little bit like a broom, but it's got really soft bristles, so it doesn't scratch or damage your paintwork. We're going to wash the boat from the top to the bottom. We're gonna hose it down and rinse it out. So once we've washed the hull and we've washed the superstructure at the top and the bottom of the boat, essentially, we've washed the motor, we've got all the salt off there. We're gonna wash the trailer. We're getting up under here, getting plenty of water in get on the inside of the chassis rail there where we can and rinse it out as best we can. Poke it inside the chassis rail here, let it run for 10 or 15 seconds, and we wait till we can see it coming out under the boat at the other end there. So nice and low, crouching down, slowly going through under the boat here. Shoot across to the back of the wheels on the other side there as best we can. Plenty of water into this wheel, plenty of water in underneath the boat. Flush these little skids out too. Pull the hose around, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Rinse the hull, rinse the trailer, rinse inside the chassis rail of the trailer, and then that same flushing down the chassis rail. Give it a good 10 or 15 second flush, and then low and slow all the way down. Same thing with those wheels, give them a good rinse out, try and get into the brakes, try and get into the suspension. One other little trick we're gonna trim up here. Get into the trim system here, give it a really good hose out because with the engine down, we don't get to that. Good to trim it up, get in there and give it a good flush. So last thing, bit of a chamois down, just like you do your car, just to take some of the water off and stop some watermarks occurring on the glass, on the engine, on the stuff that people always look at. So we'll give it a quick knock off with the chamois and then we're done. So if I was going to the nth degree here and wanted the boat to look perfect, I'd maybe go over it again with a microfiber cloth to just get rid of the last of the watermarks. 
but it looks pretty good for now. Tell you what, for a boat that's 18 years old and it gets used four to five times a week for training, it doesn't look too bad. Look after it regularly, it'll look after you. We wash it, we flush it, we put it away nice and dry. It looked after every time we use it. Any questions or you want some help with anything to do with your boating, give us a call 1300 262 888. One three hundred two six two triple eight. Better boating.